Hello everyone, this is Icona Kona, and here I'm playing as a spy on Payload Race Nightfall. <laughs> so starting off pushing this cart with this pyro here, I'm equipped with the Big Earner, the Dead Ringer, and the Revolver. So I see this enemy pyro and I figured he's gonna go for the other pyro, but nope, he goes right for me and kills me in like 10 seconds, so not the best start to this round. So next life, I try to flank these guys from the right side. I'm gonna see my teammates here building up Uber. And when I come over here, again, a pyro. I, I'm, I guess spies are like pyro magnets or something. I, I encounter them a lot in this match, and they get kind of annoying. Now I'm trying to sneak up on this cart disguised as an enemy pyro. Um, I kind of charge in with my teammates, even though I'm disguised as an enemy pyro, but that's all right. I do get those two kills on those heavies, but unfortunately, that soldier takes me out. So I can see that they're pushing the cart pretty fast now, and so I immediately disguise as an enemy pyro and try to defend these guys, but it seems that they got it pretty much covered with that uber. And so, a little bit of acting to come over here. Again, I see these heavies, so I get two quick backstabs on these heavies again, and, uh, and retreat. So the enemy team has a pretty big lead on us right now. I mean, just look at their cart compared to our cart. Look how far ahead they are. So I figured we have to start pushing this cart. I mean, I don't think we're even out the door. So I'm trying to clear this area, make sure uh, there's no one around so that my guys can try and push the card. But uh, this scout sees me and gets me, so I have to activate my dead ringer so I can try and get him. Now this route is pretty good. I, I like to use this route a lot, and I keep on going, making like a big loop, because it just seems to work. Uh, I come around here, and again, I get, a, I get a quick backstab, and again, I'm using this route. And right there, there's actually health and ammo. So every time you make this loop, this kind of lap around this area, you can pick up more health and ammo, and then come back and try again. So yep, still using this route very, very quick, and I'm just looping around, getting, I guess getting one kill on each lap. But uh, my teammates clear this area now, and I'm, I'm now trying to do some acting to see if I can fool these guys. But I am not fooling this pyro right here. I have to back away. He does set me on fire, but that's alright. I have the dead ringer to fake my death and then retreat. So coming over here, again I'm trying to get behind them and trying to look like them, but unfortunately this scout sees right through me and gets me. Have to de have to activate that dead ringer uh, just to get safe. Now, that side it seems pretty busy right now, so I decide to actually try this side. So when I come over here, I actually hear a heavy, so I can I pop out right here, get a quick backstab, and I don't really have to activate my dead ringer because no one really saw me, so I figured I'm safe. So now we're deep in the enemy spawn, just trying to clear this area so that we can push the cart down this hill. And this is probably the most difficult part of this map, is just trying to clear this area right outside the enemy spawn. Because it's so close, they're right there and they're all over the place. You can see this, uh, this NG trying to kill that heavy. So, yeah, just trying to clear this area so that we can push this cart and try and come back, because the hearts are pretty well matched right now. So I pull back, trying to figure out where my teammates are, because I want to get an idea of where the front line is, and it seems to be around here. So I actually decide to go to the left side here and try to flank them from the bottom left. Now this route, I don't see a lot of people actually go this route, so it's pretty safe for a spy. So now behind them, I'm trying to go for that medic because he's my priority. I try to go for the stab, but miss because he's really fast. But that's alright, I switch targets really quickly and go for that sniper instead. So coming back here for more health and ammo, so I had to take that from that scout, sorry about that. Uh, I wanted to go for that medic, but this pyro ruins my day, oh man. Yeah, I, I spies are just pyro magnets, so you have to watch out. So c jumping down here for the sap, the scout doesn't really seem to know what's going on, he's just looking at that sap uh, sentry, and he's like, what? And so um, I get that sap pretty easily, and for some reason he doesn't go for me. So come out here, disguise. Uh, I actually hear a spy decloak behind me, and so I quickly turn around, get this really quick stab on that spy who tried to backstab me, and uh, that was pretty lucky there. So our medic and heavy doing work on these guys. I try to help out, but I miss that stab, and I have to activate my dead ringer because there's actually a mini sentry down there, and boy do I hate mini sentries. Those things are really annoying. Now coming over here, I actually turn back and I see this pyro chasing me and he's actually blowing his flamethrower and so I figured I'm a dead giveaway as a spy already. I'm probably disguised as him and that's why. And so what was strange is that when I come over here, he completely ignores me. I mean, look at that. I thought he was going to go for me, but no, he didn't. I mean, <laughs> it was that, was that was very strange. Uh, I do get a stab on this heavy and that actually gives me away. I decloak a little bit too early and I get taken out by a mini sentry. Yeah, those little annoying things. I really don't like them. 
So next live, taking this teleporter just to see where it goes, and it doesn't go very far, but that's alright. I was just curious of where it went. Now, when I turn this corner, I get an idea for where the enemy is, and I actually choose this spot to change my disguise without activating my Dead Ringer. Now, when I usually play with Dead Ringer, I like to disguise myself as a friendly class. Uh, I want to get hit on purpose so I can activate my Dead Ringer, and once my Dead Ringer is activated, I go invisible, and that gives me an opportunity to change my disguise to an enemy class. This is not always the case because if you can find a good spot to change your disguise without being seen, you can actually try and blend in with the enemy. Now, you have to do this very close to the front line because if you start to run towards the enemy from your own team's side, people are going to get suspicious and they're probably going to shoot you. So it's around the, where the front line is, is where you have to find a good spot to change your disguise so that you're not seen. And uh, this can save a lot of cloak just because you don't have to activate your dead ringer once to change your disguise. You can just change your disguise and you have a full bar uh, ready to activate your dead ringer when you want to. So again, more pyros lighting me on fire and giving me away as a spy. Now I probably shouldn't have run in there with my own team because the pyros are actually going for them and I'm really just getting caught in the crossfire so it's kind of my fault. I come over here and I see this engineer setting up his dispenser in mini century, but I don't get that sap in time, and he actually repairs his stuff, and I forgot to activate my dead ringer uh, to save myself, so yeah, gotta remember to do that. Now, a little over a minute left on the clock, and I'm trying to flank these guys from the left side here. Uh, this room is a little dangerous to come in, because I, I know a lot of people like to use this room, so luckily, no one was there when I used that room. Uh, jump down here, see this easy kill on this heavy, get him real quick, but, oh, mini sentry. I mean, there's a lot of annoying things on this map, actually. Mini sentries and pyros, and oh, man, uh, not a spy's best friend. Now, this medic here actually splits up with his heavy, which is kind of weird. I actually wanted him to go down that hallway, because it would be a little easier to go and backstab him if it was running down that hallway. But for some reason, he split up with that heavy, and now I have to kind of ditch that effort and decloak over here. And I don't pick the best place to decloak. Probably the worst place to decloak is right in front of a pyro. Uh, bad mistake by me, and I get owned by this heavy over there. So a little over 10 seconds on the clock now, trying to defend this cart. When I come over here around this door, Random's flare gun shot. That pyro was not aiming for me. I bet he was not aiming for me, but he still got me anyway. But that's alright. Uh, because he hit me, I was able to activate my dead ringer and change disguises. So it kind of works out. I come over here to this medic and heavy pair. Get this quick stab, two quick stabs. So this area is pretty much clear, and now we are in overtime. And in overtime, these carts move on their own. They actually move at the same speed, and so whoever's really ahead... Uh, can actually win if no one else touches the cart. So just still trying to defend this point. Um, I probably should have actually gone to the enemy spawn and try and push our cart just to help us win this one. But uh, I don't know, for some reason I just didn't do that and I'm just trying to defend this area. So trying to take out this power with my revolver now and I do manage to take him out but he catches me on fire and so I activate my dead ringer. Uh, I jump down here and when I come up to the top of this hill I see a heavy and I'm running out of cloak. So I, re I don't have really much choice on decloaking. I try to decloak behind that wall uh, but he spots me and he takes me out and we actually lose this first map in nightfall and overtime. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for part two of this map and have a nice day.